Hi, hello everyone. In this video, I would like to share with you the over-the-air update uh, for the Proton X70 IHU. Over-the-air, in short, is also called as OTA. So this OTA update is enable us as an owner of the X70 to be able to download the latest software and the, the latest function features, bug fix, etc. Uh, anytime, anywhere. Uh, that we just download via the SIM card or via the Wi-Fi connections that we have at home. So if we have the Wi-Fi SIM card that is still available with the one gig remaining data, that we will still need to have and have to ensure the proper connection of the, uh, the the 4G network into the SIM card is properly connected. So that is one key things that we have to ensure. Otherwise, you can actually connect to the Wi-Fi connection at home to ensure that faster download speed and uh, more stable uh, download connections and also the uh, lesser prone to the damage to the ISU. Uh, because for example, some people may accidentally shut down the engine when you're installing the software. Okay, so this is definitely a big no-no to shut down the engine while installation. So in the following part, I will zoom into this ISU to show you the installation details. Right now, what we see is when we start the engine, if we saw the notification like this, which means that we are ready for the update. There is a new software that is available for the update. Um, and of course, once you click to this go to update, uh, you will see that the others uh, message is coming up for example right now we can see is this new function of 3.6 version is available and we also see that the new software uh, 3.6.4 uh, release note that is improved bluetooth call quality for the ISU and also some bug fix for the jokes music and the member center and uh, now the, the the important things is you have to know once you click on this update now you are actually trying to download the file from the factory into the ISU and uh, after that there will be installation of the software into the ISU so during this process you should not shut down the engine okay you should never shut off the ignitions so uh, with this for the better and safer connections uh, reason I am using the uh, I am using the Wi-Fi connections uh, and you can see it from here I have the connectivities and then from the wireless network right now you can see I have already connected my house uh, Wi-Fi uh, Wi-Fi and uh, therefore now I'm quite confident to download the software uh, that is available now over here let me just look back for the software since I have connected to my house Wi-Fi so I will just click on the setting then I scroll up then I go to the system Then now you can see the GQuery uh, 1.2.0 is actually come with available update so now once I click on the update it come back to this node so I click on this update now and then you can see this is the important information during the update process do not use your head unit and do not turn off uh, your engine do you want to continue now yes do you want to update now sorry <laughs> so now i click on update now you can see the update is in process by the way if during this installation process or upgrading process uh, you shut down the engine and the whole IHU uh, can be damaged and it cannot be claimed under warranty and the cost for this repair can be very expensive so uh, hope that this video is helping you to avoid those unnecessary uh, headache or difficulties in all this
so as you can see the upgrading process can be <laughs> sometimes called can be called as quite slow so you really have to be patient if you have no time to do this update so please don't do this update you can always cancel and then wait until you have the time then only you do the update and that's the reason why i'm emphasized that you should have the home wi-fi connections uh, to download it because uh, that is running on a higher uh, internet speed to download the file uh, in a faster way and also the installation process will be much uh, secure uh, consistent So uh, that's the reason why I didn't edit this video uh, in terms of this downloading time so that you can see um, uh, what is the exact time rate of the downloading and then you should know that uh, you really need to have the time that you cannot say for example you, you are rushing for an appointment uh, with friends or customer and then you accidentally click on the update and then still you further click the confirm button and then after that you say ah, I don't care I, I, I need to I need to shut down the engine that will be a, a disaster okay For your information, right now <laughs> my home Wi-Fi is actually running on the 300 uh, max uh, download speed. <laughs> so can you imagine if you are downloading it with the SIM card or the mobile uh, phone hotspot uh, internet connectivity. Uh, that may take about half an hour time to download and everything. Uh, Sometimes it can be longer than that. So to let your engine start and running idling like that uh, it can be quite uh, challenging and also it can be uh, not so good environmental friendly <laughs> from the European point of view <laughs> So from the initial point until now, it should be around like 8 minutes plus uh, for this software to be downloaded, installed and everything. Uh, we will see that this upgrading status bar, once it's finished, uh, what will happen.
so while we're waiting for this download uh, we can actually go for some uh, night walk <laughs> but we can actually go out for uh, for fresh air <laughs> uh, yeah so that will be some part of patient that will be required uh, for this software update Okay, so now you can see the software is already uh, successfully uh, start, I mean install, and then now it's waiting for it to be reboot. So you can see it's running on Android base, and this is uh, everything is just reboot and now it's finishing boot so the android is upgrading as well again again remember do not shut down your engine do not shut down your engine okay so now hula everything is ready now the ISU is been uh, updated properly so that's the all process of the OTA over the air update. Thanks for watching.